What's up everyone, my name's James and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who Cole Buxton are, they're a British luxury sportswear brand who have pretty much perfected the athleisure look. You'll see a lot of people wearing Cole Buxton because they have really great fits, nice color palettes, and the quality is top notch because a lot of their stuff is made in England, but that does come with a high price. Believe me, if I could afford to get every Cole Buxton piece, I would, but it would break the bank. So in today's video, I wanna show off some affordable alternatives so you can get the same look for a lot less. These aren't gonna be like one-to-one -one replica looks, but they're gonna be heavily inspired by that Cole Buxton style and silhouette which they're famous for. For reference, I'm five foot 10 and around 140 pounds, and I'll leave links to everything I can down in the description. First affordable alternative I'm gonna show is inspired by Cole Buxton's warm-up collection. This is easily their most popular collection and is what they're really known for. It features boxy silhouettes, heavyweight fabrics, and washed out color palettes. On feet, I've gone for some high top Converse Chuck 70s. If you've seen my recent shoe collection video, you'll know why the 70s are far superior to the regular Chuck Taylors. But either one is gonna work for the look of this outfit. I chose these because one of Cole Buxton's main inspirations is that sort of vintage gym look. And of course, Converse have always been heavily linked to the gym because a lot of weightlifters like to wear them for squats and deadlifts due to that flat sole. The ones I have here are actually from the Fear of God collaboration which aren't available anymore unless you wanna pay resale. But a great alternative would be the parchment colorway. So for the Cole Buxton warm-up shorts, one of the things you'll notice is that they're above the knee, but they're not slim or tight. They're actually quite oversized. So it was a bit of a challenge finding something which was shorter in length, but not too tight. On top of that, they've got a very specific looking washed black colorway. It was quite difficult to find an alternative to these that was affordable. Eventually, I landed on a website which I don't usually go on, and that's Boohoo Man. They've got these washed black heavyweight fabric shorts. They don't say too much about the length, but when they arrived, I was pleasantly surprised. They sit just above the knee like the Cole Buxton ones. And on top of that, they were only £12.60, so this was a great find. I picked them up in a size small, and as you can see, they fit me just like the Cole Buxton ones would. The only downside is, and this is something I've complained about in a previous video, they put this meaningless writing on the leg. Thankfully, it's not visible at all because it's black on black. Plus, I reckon if you really wanted to get rid of it, you could probably just take an eye into it and it would peel off. But overall, I was really happy with these shorts and I think they're a great alternative. Okay, moving up and looking at the t-shirts, I think the Cole Buxton ones are the same throughout their ranges. And they all have this oversized boxy silhouette with a bit of a mock neck and drop shoulders. I knew straight away which t-shirt I was gonna use as an affordable alternative. And it had to be the Cos mock neck t-shirt, which I've shown off multiple times. They have everything that the Cole Buxton t-shirt has. They've got that heavier weight fabric. They've got the mock neck. They're oversized, they're boxy. And if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that that boxiness comes from the fact that these are women's t-shirts. Therefore, even though they're oversized, you get that shorter length. Now I will say that these COS t-shirts aren't exactly cheap. They're still 29 pounds. But when you compare it with the 75 pounds of a Cole Buxton t-shirt, this is a great alternative. And I picked the COS tee up in a size medium. And so on top, the Cole Buxton warm-up sweatshirt. These follow the same pattern as the t-shirt I was just talking about. So they're very oversized, they're very boxy, they're quite cropped, they're a heavyweight fabric. They all come in these lovely washed out colorways. They've got a bit of a mock neck. This piece was actually very difficult when it came to finding an affordable alternative. And that's because, just like I was talking about with the t-shirt, Finding cropped t-shirts and sweaters is quite rare in the men's section. You definitely can find them, but when you do, they're usually quite pricey. And this is a perfect example. The Cole Buxton one is 125 pounds. So of course I do what I always seem to do and I turned to the women's section and I found this amazing alternative in one of my favorites, H&M. This H&M sweater has just about everything you would want in the Cole Buxton sweater, apart from one thing, which I'll talk about in a minute. So first of all, it's oversized, so you're getting the big wide arms and the boxy body. And as I've mentioned, it's women's, so it's not too long. You're getting that cropped length. The collar is thick and tight, just like the Cole Buxton one. And something I think I'm most happy about is the color. I think it looks on point. It has this washed out black heavyweight terry fabric cotton. It looks so similar in terms of color to the Cole Buxton. And of course, the Cole Buxton one is gonna be way heavier weight, I reckon. 
second, I think it's 500 GSM, but for the price, this is a great alternative. I picked the H&M sweater up in a size medium. Now, as I said, one thing is a little bit different, and that's the fact that the H&M sweatshirt has raglan sleeves, whereas the Cole Buxton one has regular drop shoulders. But honestly, when you put the whole look together, it's hardly noticeable. And because that sweatshirt is so oversized, it looks good anyway, you get that sort of drop shoulder effect. As you would expect from H&M, it comes in at a mad price of just $17.99, so you cannot go wrong. Okay, the next outfit is a little bit of a lighter colorway, and it's more inspired by Cole Buxton's knitwear. Cole Buxton have become well known for their knitwear collection. One of my favorites is their knitwear sweater, but again, it's just a little bit too much out of my price point at the moment at £235. So this outfit is based around an affordable alternative to that sweater. Starting off on feet, I've kept those Fear of God Converse Chuck 70s. For the shorts, I was really struggling to find knitwear shorts that I liked. I did get a few different ones in, but they were all a little bit naff. I couldn't find a fit that was similar to the Cole Buxton knitwear shorts, and actually some of the knitwear pieces I got were too see-through, which is not something you want with a pair of shorts. So I sacked off the search for a knitwear short alternative and just went for a light coloured pair of sweat shorts. But the shorts I went for are just these cheap £10 grey shorts from H&M. To be honest, these are one of the pairs of shorts that I wear most of the time during summer. They are so affordable and they fit me so well. I like my shorts to sit just above the knee and that's exactly what these do in a size small. You'll see that I got these in a grey marl colour to keep it light. I would have preferred just a solid grey, but they don't seem to do those. Another good alternative would have been a beige pair of shorts. On top, for the t-shirt layer, I had to go for that COS t-shirt again, but this time I went for the white colourway, again to keep it light. As I said, I picked this up in a size medium, and it fits me just like the Cole Buxton one would. Now for the actual sweater, if you look at the Cole Buxton one, it's oversized, but it's not actually that boxy or cropped. So it has those sort of big arms and drop shoulders, but actually the length looks like a regular length to me. There were loads of choices when it came to knitwear alternatives, but I think the one I found is honestly almost perfect. And it's this oversized knit sweatshirt from Top Man. Now, obviously the one big thing that is missing is gonna be the big CB logo on the chest. Debatable whether I would actually buy that one if I was gonna buy it from Cold Buxton because I think they sell one without the CB logo. Sometimes it's nice to have a logo, but sometimes you wanna keep it a bit more low key. So this Top Man sweater could actually be a good alternative even if you already own the Cold Buxton logo one. But you'll see that the color is just exactly the the same. It's that sort of creamy yellow off-white. It's got that same thick ribbed waistband and cuffs. The Cole Buxton collar isn't very tight and that's also the case for the Top Man one. Now I think one of the big differences is going to be the weight of the garments. Without a doubt the Cole Buxton one is going to be more heavyweight and definitely higher quality. The Top Man version is very lightweight and very stretchy. You can also probably see it's a little bit see-through, which as I mentioned was a problem I had with knitwear shorts but I don't mind the see-through as much with my tops and if I'm wearing the white t-shirt underneath then I think it looks fine. I think the sizing and fit is just spot on as well when compared to the Cole Buxton one. So it does have that oversized body with the regular length. I went for a size medium in the Top Man sweater. Now I think this Top Man sweatshirt retails for 28 pounds, but I actually got it for half price. And that's because a sale was on. So if you look now, you might still be lucky. Another thing about all these pieces that I've shown off today is that they can be mixed and matched. And that's something that Cole Buxton does on their website. So for sure, look at mixing up the the lighter shorts with the darker tops and vice versa. You can potentially get like four to six outfits out of just these pieces that I've shown today. And so those are my Cole Buxton affordable alternatives. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next week.